चैप्टर थ्री मोशन इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन इज़ कॉमन टू एवरीथिंग इन द यूनिवर्स वी वॉक रन एंड राइड अ बाइसिकल इवन वेन वी आर स्लीपिंग एयर मूव्स इन टू आर लंग्स एंड आउट ऑफ आर लंग्स ब्लड फ्लोज इन द आर ट्रीज एंड बेन्स वी सी लीव्स फॉलोइंग फ्रॉम ट्रीज एंड वाटर फ्लोइंग डाउन अ डैम ऑटोमोबाइल्स एंड प्लेन्स कैरी पीपल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर the earth rotates over a very uh, rotates once every 24 hours uh, and is in motion in the milky way which is again a uh, moving within its local group of galaxies motion is change in position of an object with respect to time how does position change with time in this chapter we shall learn how to describe motion for this we develop the concepts of velocity and acceleration we shall confine ourselves to study of motion of objects along a straight line as also uh, as rectilinear motion for the case of rectilinear motion with uniform acceleration a set of simple equations can be obtained Finally to understand relative nature of motion we introduce the concept of relative velocity In kinetics we study ways to describe motion without going into the causes of motion What causes motion is described in this chapter and the next chapter forms the subject matter of chapter 5 Position path length and displacement Earlier you learned that motion is change in position of an object with respect to time. In order to specify position, we need to use a reference point and a set of axes. It is convenient to choose a rectangular coordinate system consisting of three mutually perpendicular axes labeled x, y and z. The points of intersection of these axes are the origin and serve as reference points. the coordinates x y and z of the object describe the position of object with respect to this coordinate system to measure time we uh, we position a clock in this system this coordinate system along with a clock constitutes a frame if one of or more coordinates of an object change with respect to time we say the object is in motion otherwise the object is at rest the choice of a set of axes is in a frame of reference depends on the situation description of an event depends on the frame of reference chosen for description For example when you say a car is moving on a road you are describing the car with respect to a frame of reference attached to you or to the ground but with respect to a frame of reference attached with a person sitting in a car the car is at rest to describe motion along a straight line we can choose an axis say x axis so that it coincides with the path of the object We, uh, we then measure the position of the object with reference to conveniently chosen origin say o as shown in figure 3.1 positions to right of o are taken as positive and that to left of o are taken as negative path length consider the motion of a car along with a straight line we choose x axis such that it coincides with the path of the car's motion and origin of the axis as a point from where the car has started let p q and r represent the positions of a car at different instances of time consider two most uh, two cases of motion in the first case the car is moving from o to p then the distance moved by the car is op is equal to plus 360 the distance is called path length traversed by the car in the second back from p to q during this course of motion the path traversed is op plus pq that is 360 plus 120 is equal to 480 displacement It is useful to define another quantity displacement as change in position. Let x1 and x2 be the positions of an object um with respect to time t1 and t2. 
are uh, then is displacement denoted by delta x in time delta t is equal to t2 minus t1 is given by the difference between the final and the initial positions delta x is equal to x2 minus x1 we use greek letters delta to denote change in the quantity if x2 is greater than x1 x uh, delta x is positive and if x2 is smaller than x1 then x uh, delta x is negative displacement has both magnitude and direction such quantities are represented by vectors you will read about vectors in the next chapter presently we are dealing with motion along a straight line called rectilinear motion only in one dimensional motion there are only two directions backward and forward upward or downward in which an object can move these two directions are easily specified with plus or minus signs. The displacement has magnitude 360 and is directed in the positive direction x-axis. Magnitude of displacement may or may not be equal to the path length traversed by the object. For example, motion of a car of an object. For example, from O to P, the path length is 360 and the displacement is plus 360. In this case, the magnitude of displacement is equal to the path length. But consider the motion of car from OP and back to Q. In this case, the path length is 360 plus 120 that is 480. However, displacement is 240. Uh, minus 0 that is 240 this magnitude of displacement is not equal to the path length the magnitude of displacement for a course of motion may be 0 but corresponding path length is not 0 motion of an object can be represented by position time graph as you have already learnt about it such a graph is powerful tool to represent and analyze different aspects of motion of an object. For motion along a straight line, say x-axis, only x-coordinate varies with time. We have xt graph. Let us first consider the simple axis in which an object is stationary. If an object moving with a straight line covers equal distances and equal intervals of time, it is said to be uniform motion along a straight line. Average velocity and average speed. When an object is in motion, its position changes with time. But how fast the position changes with time is and in what direction? To describe this, we define the quantity average velocity. Average velocity is defined as the change in position or displacement divided by time interval delta t. V bar is equal to x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1 is equal to delta x upon delta t, where x2 and x1 are the positions of the object and time t1 and t2 at time t1 and t2 respectively. Here the bar over the symbol for velocity is a standard notation used to indicate an average quantity. The SI unit for velocity is meter per second or meet, uh, m s min, um, raised to minus 1. Oh, through kilo, uh, although um, kilometer per hour is used in many everyday applications like displacement, average velocity is also a vector quantity. But as explained earlier, for um, motion in a straight line, directional aspect of the vector can be taken care of by plus or minus signs. We do not have to use the vector notation for velocity in this chapter. Consider the motion of a car. The portion of xt graph between t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 8 is blown up as shown in figure 3.4. Average velocity is defined above, um, is defined above uh, as the only one that, displa that displacement needs for an object. We have seen earlier that magnitude of displacement may be different from actual path length. To describe the motion 
um, the rate of motion over the actual path we introduce another quantity called average speed average speed is defined as the total path length traveled divided by the total time interval during which the motion has taken place average speed is equal to total path length upon total time interval average speed has obviously been the same unit uh, as that of uh, velocity but it does not tell us in what direction an object is moving that is it is always positive in contrast to the average velocity but can be positive or negative if the motion of an object is along a straight line and in the same direction the magnitude of the displacement is equal to the total path length in that case magnitude of average velocity is equal to average speed it is always it is not always in this case um it, it does in this case the average speed is not equal to the magnitude of average velocity this happens because the motion here involves change in direction so that path length is greater than magnitude of displacement instantaneous velocity and speed average velocity tells us how fast an object has been moving over a period of time but it does not tell us how fast it moves at different instances of time for this we define instantaneous velocity or velocity v at instance t v limit delta t tends to 0 delta x upon delta t dx by dt where symbol limit delta t tends to 0 stands for operation of taking limit as delta t tends to 0 of the quantity on the right in this language in the calculus language quantity of the right hand side is the differential coefficient of x with respect to the quantity denoted by dx by dt it is difficult to show the process graphically but if we use numerical method to obtain the value the meaning of the um, process becomes clear acceleration acceleration the velocity of an object in general changes during its course of time should it be described as a rate of change of velocity with distance or with time there was a problem that galileo experienced during his time it was the first thought that uh, this change would be described um, by the rate of change of velocity with uh, with distance but through his studies of motion of free falling um of a play on a plane galileo concluded that the rate of change of velocity with time is constant of motion for all objects in free fall on the other hand the change in velocity with distance is not constant it decreases with increasing distance the this led to the concept of acceleration rate of change of velocity with time v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 delta v upon delta t where v2 and v1 are the instantaneous velocities or simply velocities at time t2 and t1 Uh, the average change in the velocity per unit time uh, the si unit of acceleration is meter per second um, instantaneous acceleration is defined as the time or the way um, as instantaneous velocity a is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta v by delta t dv by dt the acceleration at any instance is the slope of the tangent to the vt curve at that instance acceleration is non uniform over a period 0 to 10 this is zero between uh, 10 to 18 seconds and is constant with value minus 12 meters per second since velocity is a quantity having both magnitude and direction a change in velocity may involve a change either um, in both of these factors or either one 
acceleration therefore may result for change in speed or magnitude a change in direction or a change in both position time graphs for motion with zero position time graphs with motion with zero positive or negative acceleration are shown note that the graph curves upward for positive downward for negative and straight for zero as an exercise identify uh, the regions of the graph um which are positive negative or zero because it is an upward curve it is a positive graph negative curve negative graph because of the downward curve and a straight line shows zero acceleration let us see how velocity graph looks like for some simple cases an interesting feature of the velocity time graph for any moving object is that the area under the curve represents the displacement over a period of time kinematic equations for uniformly accelerated motion for uniformly accelerated motion we can derive some simple equations that relate displacement taken um time taken velocity final velocity and acceleration um already obtained gives a relation between final and initial velocities as explained in the previous section the area vt curve represents the displacement therefore displacement x of the object x is equal to 1/2 v minus v v not uh, into t plus v not into t <laughs> relative velocity you must be familiar with the experience of traveling in a train and by being overtaken by yet another train while that train must be traveling faster than you um to be able to pass you it must it does seem that it is slower to you than it would be to someone else who is standing just outside on the platform in case both the play, both the trains have the same velocity with respect to the ground then the other train would seem to be not moving or on a standstill To understand such observations we now introduce two objects A and B involving uniformly um unif moving uniformly with average velocities VA and VB otherwise specified the velocities mentioned in this chapter are measured with reference x of a, x a of t is equal to x a of 0 plus v a v a into t each equation is easily interpreted and it tells us how um it is seen from an object now we consider special cases v b is equal to v a minus v b or v b is equal to v a v b minus v a is equal to zero then x b um, of t minus x a of t is equal to x b of zero minus x a of zero therefore the two objects stay at a constant distance um and the position time graphs are a straight line parallel to each other if v a is greater than v b v b minus v a is negative one graph is graph is steeper than the other and they meet at a common point for example 20 me, uh, meters per second and x a 0 is 10 meters per second uh, v b is equal to 10 meters per second uh and xb is equal to 40 meters per second at this instance uh they are both at position xa of t and xb of t is equal to 0 suppose va and vb are in the opposite signs for example 
if the above example a and b is moving with uh, 20 meters per second starting from x a is equal to 10 moving uh, with uh, 20 meters per second b is moving with minus 10 meters per second standing at x b is equal to 40 in this the greater magnitude of velocity of a or that of b um is decided if the motion and the consideration of the two trains then per person sitting on either two seats the tra- the other train seem to be very fast summary um an object is said to be in motion or if its position changes with respect to time the position of an object can be specified if um with reference to a conventional um uh, chosen origin the motion in a straight line position of an ob- uh, of the right of the origin or to the left of the origin on uh, x of t graph the average velo- velocity over a period of time has been um amazing average velocity v is equal to displacement divided by time interval in which displacement occurs delta v r is equal to uh, v r is equal to delta x upon delta t average speed is the ratio of the total speed um, pa- total path per length traversed by the corresponding time interval the average speed of an object is greater or equal to the magnitude of average um, velocity over the given time interval average um, acceleration is the change in velocity divided by time interval during the course of time delta uh, v upon delta t is equal to a bar instantaneous acceleration is defined as the limit of average acceleration of the interval a um, is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 um delta v by delta t 